Hi, boys and girls. Miss Carolyn here. Thanks for tuning in to our daily read aloud. So we have been talking about community helpers, and today we are going to talk about a very important community helper. The story we are going to read today is called A Day in the Life of a Police Officer. Police, officer, police officers are very, very important people because they keep us safe and out of danger. As we read the story today, I want you to think about a part that you found interesting. What did you learn in the story that you might not have known before? What did you think was really cool? When we're done reading, we're going to talk about it, and then you can talk to someone in your household. All right, let's get started. A Day in the Life of a Police Officer. This is a nonfiction story. That means it is about real life things that have happened. So you're not going to see pictures that were drawn, you're going to see photographs. If we take a look at the front cover, we see, who is this? Right, a police officer. And he or she looks like she's sitting on the bench next to a little boy. So she must be helping him. Joey is staying with his Aunt Anne and Uncle Bill. Aunt Anne is a police officer. After breakfast, Anne puts on her badge and belt and goes to work. At lunchtime, Joey and Uncle Bill will meet Aunt Anne at the police station. So this is a badge. They wear these to show what police station they belong to. At the police station, the sergeant talks to the new shift. Last night, a bear escaped from the zoo, he says. Be on the lookout. Anne and her partner, Jim, are on patrol duty. They pick up the keys to their patrol car. So a sergeant is in charge of the other police officers. So he's telling them that there is a bear that got loose, so make sure you pay attention. Anne and Jim patrol the west side. That means they keep the west side safe. They drive around, make sure everybody is okay. Jim uses the two-way radio to tell the station where they are. On Main Street, Anne and Jim look for signs of trouble. So here's the radio. It's kind of like a walkie-talkie and they just talk into it so they can communicate with the other officers. At the corner of Main Street, horns are honking. The traffic light is broken. Anne parks her patrol car. She turns on the flashing lights. Police officers have red, white, and blue lights at the top of their car, and they put them on when there is an emergency or when they're taking care of something. So in this case, they put them on so they can try to figure out how to fix the stoplight. Jim calls the station. Broken traffic light at Main Street, he says. The station calls traffic repair. Anne tells the drivers when to stop and when to go. So Anne is directing traffic since the light is broken. At lunchtime, Anne and Jim go back to the station. Joey and Uncle Bill are there. Anne gives them a tour. We have all kinds of police officers, Anne says. Some of them ride horses. Wow, that's really interesting. I didn't know that some police officers ride horses. Did you? Some police officers ride bicycles, Anne says. Some ride motorcycles. And some work with police dogs. Here's a police dog. Police dogs are usually German shepherds. I like the police dog best, said Joey. 
Anne and Jim go back to duty. They head down Elm Street. Everything looks quiet. Suddenly, Anne sees a boy crying. Why do you think he's crying? Make a prediction. Try to guess. Think maybe he's lost. Adam got off at the wrong bus stop. Anne can help. She shows him her badge so he knows she is a police officer. Where do you live? Anne asks. Adam does not remember, but he has written it down. He opens his backpack and shows Anne his ID tag. So Officer Anne is going to try to get him home. Jim calls the station and the station calls Adam's house. Adam will be home in five minutes. Anne and Jim drive Adam home. Adam's mother is very glad to see him. Oops, Adam must give Anne her hat back. So the kind police officers were able to help him. Back in the patrol car, a call comes in from the station. Check out strange noises at 203 Cedar Drive. Anne and Jim are on their way. At 203 Cedar Drive, the garage door is open. The garbage can is tipped over. What is going on? Anne looks in the garage. It is the bear that escaped from the zoo. Anne closes the garage door quickly. Call the zoo, she shouts. The zookeepers arrive to pick up the bear. Soon everyone is safe and so is the bear. Anne and Jim go back to the station. Their shift is over. They turn in their keys and write their police report. Police report is something that they have to write um, they write down what happens during the day. When Anne gets home, Uncle Bill has some news. A TV reporter called, he says. She wants to do a story about you catching the bear. Joey is excited. You're so brave, Aunt Anne, he says. I can't wait to tell all my friends. Anne smiles. She has the best job in the whole world. Here are some of the words that we saw in the story. A badge is what the police officers wear to show them what police um, precinct they're in. And it also lets other people know that they are an officer. Flashing lights are on top of their car to show other cars and pedestrians that there might be a problem. Sergeant is the name of the police officer that is in charge of other police officers. Your police dog, which helps out the officers. Two-way radio, which is the walkie-talkie. ID badge, which shows you where you live. Traffic light tells you when to stop and go. And police report is something that they fill out after their shift to tell what they did. I found a lot of things interesting in that story, but one thing in particular I found was interesting was when they said that police officers, some of them, ride on horses. I did not know that. That is really, really interesting. That's something new that I learned. Think about something interesting, something new that you learned and share it with an adult or a sibling or someone in your household. I hope you like this story. Have a great afternoon and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for opening group. Bye.